He wants us to take us from glory to glory. He wants us to go to higher and higher. But sometimes when we're trying to get higher, we're trying to go to more strength. We're trying to get true. We find that we're going from struggle to struggle. See, God doesn't want us to go from struggle to struggle. His intention is for us to go from strength to strength. And I can tell you today, we all face this challenge. One day we're doing good, the next day we're struggling. We're trying to get out the situation. Maybe if you're struggling today, you need to hear this one word, rest. Just rest. See, the truth is, we're gonna get to where God wants us to be if we're honoring Him, if we put Him first place, if we take time to get His plans and His words in our heart and in our lives. We're not going to get to where we need to be in any quicker if we worry, if we struggle, or if we're frustrated. So today, I just want to say, if you find yourself struggling, rest. Rest in God's peace. Abide in His joy. That's where you're going to find your strength. That is where you are going to endure and find great persistence. God is always trying to get us higher. So we're always going to be facing something in our lives. Abide in His joy. That's where you're going to find your strength. That is where you're going to endure and find great persistence. God is always trying to get us higher so we're always going to be facing something in our lives listen to what it says in james 1 verse 4 it says consider it all joy when you go through trials of many kinds many kinds a variety of trials coming from different places we're to count it all joy when we face trials see trials is what causes us to struggle but god is saying count it all joy in this version that i'm reading it says consider it all joy see our trials were never meant to decrease us they were meant to increase us they were not meant to tear our faith down they were meant to build our faith up trials were never meant to produce perseverance in us See, that scripture goes on to say that we won't be lacking anything, that there may be trial of our faith, but it's going to lead us to good. It's not going to tear us down. The key to counting it all, joy, is joy. The joy of the Lord is our strength. We don't find the joy in the trial. We don't find the joy in the pain. We are supposed to find the joy in the God who is the source of all strength, the God who is in control of it all. When we are walking through a difficulty, we are supposed to look for God, not look at the difficulty. We're to count it all joy. Happiness comes and goes. Excitement is here. Vacations come. They go, but joy is supposed to abide in us. Joy lives in us. Joy is a gift from Almighty God. You know, sometimes when we're going through a trial or a test, we think, this isn't joyful. I can tell you, joy is not the word that comes to me when I'm facing a difficulty. I just have to admit it right now. I think the scripture should have said, when you get through the difficulty, that's when you can throw your hands up in the air and say, finally, I can have some joy. I can have some relief. But see... The scripture doesn't say that. It says we are to consider it all joy. Word to that tells me right now that when I'm facing a difficulty, I have a choice. I can consider it joy or I can consider it hardship. If I consider it hardship and difficulty and misery and start walking down that road, I'm going to start to complain and I'm going to lose every joy I ever had. But when I consider the God, the God who has all power, the God who has allowed me to face a trial to bring something good out of me. See, if we're gonna count it all joy, the only way to do that is to count it all God. And if we're going to count it all God, 
we gotta know there is good in this trial. The decision is to find the good, not the bad. The decision is to begin, to look for the good. And you know what I've discovered? I discovered that most of the time, God wants me to find the good in myself. He wants me to mine the gold within me. You see, He is refining us into pure gold. It says that He wants us to lack no good thing. To be ready and able to persevere in this life. You see, if we're going to go higher and higher, we're always going to be facing something. Because the only way to go higher is to step up. See, what are you stepping over or stepping up to today? Are you taking those difficulties to God? Are you saying, God, help me find your strength. Be my source. Or are you trying to do it on your own? See, when we do it on our own, that's when we struggle. But when we realize, when we tap into this joy, we tap into God. That's when we find our source of strength. See, there is called something willpower. And we all like to think we have it. And we all want to use it. But let me tell you, when you're facing a difficulty and God's got you on an upward plane, it's going to take more than your willpower. It's going to take God's power. It's going to take God's power to bring you to the places that He wants to take you. Don't struggle on your own. Realize the joy of the Lord in His calm delight. It's the rest in Him. It's the peace in Him. Do you know it's very interesting what we believe about our circumstance will ultimately cause us to either come out tattered and torn, beaten and bruised, or built up. Cause see, we just want to get through those difficulties. We're waiting for them to be over. But God is looking at what we are like when they're over. He is saying, how did they develop? How did they grow? What's their attitude? Where can I take them now? See, God wants us to pass the test. That is, any good teacher wants you to pass a test. They don't give you a test to fail. They give you a test to see what you've learned from them. And God is saying, I want you to pass the test. I want you to rise up. I want you to have perseverance. That's what the intention of these trials are to give us perseverance, to train us, to bring out the good in us, the God in us. See, that's why the enemy works so hard to steal our joy. Because he knows if we're looking everywhere else, if we're blaming our friends, it's all about our husband, it's about the difficulty at work, when we're looking to lay blame on everyone else, We forget to look within us. We look at the problem. We're chasing the problem instead of chasing the promise. The promise is in us. God has put everything we need to accomplish on the inside of us. We just got to dig it out. We got to find it. We have got to believe that this joy is for us to give us the strength. What you're believing about the difficulty you're going through right now, what you're believing about where you want to be right now, is going to make all the difference in the world on how you come out of this difficulty and what you learn through this difficulty, what you learn through any challenge. See, if you're going to go through it, go through it. That's what God's saying. Go through it. It says in Romans 15, 13, it says, The God of all hope will fill you with joy and peace in believing. What are you believing today? Are you believing you're unworthy or believing you can't make it? See, no hope and no faith and no joy will rise with those kind of thoughts. Or are you believing, God, I am believing as I face this trial. I'm learning something. I'm getting something out of this, God. I'm believing, Father, that I can repent. I can turn away. God, I am believing that you are proud of me. And if you are for me, who dare to against me? I'm believing I have all power to overcome, being built up because of Jesus Christ. 
See, it's what you're believing about your situation today. Don't give up your joy. Don't let it elude you. Don't think it's happiness. The happiness is good. We all want to be happy. We all want things to be going our way. A true test of our faith, the test that's going to build us, build our character, build our perseverance, is found in the trials of life. God doesn't want you to get beat up in the trial. He wants you to be built up. Don't let the enemy steal your joy. Remember it abides on the inside of you. It's a gift that will take you from strength to strength. Amen. Pray this simple prayer with me. Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins, come into my heart, and I make you my Lord and Savior. And if you pray that simple prayer, I believe that you've been born again. Amen.